So hello and welcome to this process monitoring screencast. My name is Charlie Mann and in the next five minutes I'm going to explain what our lovely beta product is all about and how you can apply it to your microservices environments. Hopefully by the end of this you'll have been convinced to sign up as a beta tester and join us in testing this shiny new product. So process monitoring, what is this all about? Process monitoring is going to allow you to monitor the end-to-end -end flow of your collaborating microservices. Now, imagine your company has an online shop and you need to process orders. You're building a simple order application where, eventually, you'll create a flow that goes something like this. When customer buys an item, you then need to process the payment, the item has to be fetched, and in the end it has to be shipped so the customer actually gets what they bought. Because you're running a modern tech stack, you've decided to implement multiple microservices to make use of the typical advantages of this architecture, such as the autonomy of teams, the scalability, ease of deployment, and of course, the freedom of technology. It could be that for processing these orders, you've implemented a couple of microservices. This could include the checkout service, the payment service, the inventory service, and the shipment service. So, Whenever an order is triggered, the checkout service publishes an event and the payment service listens to exactly this order placed event. The payment service then processes the payment and publishes the payment received event. The inventory service listens to this event and eventually it publishes the event goods fetched. And finally, the shipping service publishes goods shipped. We call this the peer to peer event chain. We can see that our microservices are working together even though they're not directly calling each other. Now, we decided to use Kafka for building this event chain. Each microservice in the architecture publishes events and can also subscribe to certain events on Kafka. This is all working fine and it also works at scale because we know Kafka is built exactly for this. So technically it's a valid and it's a good architecture that comes with many advantages. Often these end-to-end -end event chains, they're built to fulfill a certain business case. It's a central functionality for your organization. So from the business side, there are gonna be a lot of people interested in that it works perfectly. They're gonna ask you questions like, why are the orders not shipped? And how long does it take to move an order from checkout to shipping? And can we keep our promise to ship within 24 hours? This architecture it has many advantages, but at the same time it does come with a downside, namely process visibility. It becomes even more obvious and harder when we are, for example, trying to change the order within our flow. Finding out what happened to our orders and finding out where they're stuck or if there are recurring bottlenecks, it can be really tricky and really time consuming. And eventually you end up in chaos. Nobody likes chaos. You don't know what's going on with your orders. Now, this is exactly why we built process monitoring. We can answer all of these important questions using this tool, and we don't have to change anything in the architecture. So firstly, using a predefined Kafka connector, we can subscribe to events occurred in Kafka and ingest all of them into our solution. Then within the user interface, we can create or upload a BPMM process model, and we can map Kafka events to the steps in our flow. We can then save this model within the process monitoring solution and, based on this, we can create reports and dashboards and make use of heat maps and alerts. So here you can see the whole architecture at a glance. We see that the process monitoring solution comes with a flexible ingestion API that's used by a predefined Kafka connector. You can easily connect this to your existing microservices infrastructure. So let's have a look at how this works in a short demonstration. Imagine that you've ingested the events into the process monitoring solution for orders. We're going to open the user interface next. So here, we can decide to either upload an existing BPMM process model, or we can start modeling from scratch. We're going to model our own BPMM process model. So we start with our start event. And here's one I made earlier. We're gonna continue modeling until we have covered the entire end-to-end -end flow in BPMM. Next we have to map our ingested events from our microservices to the symbols in our flow. Now, a table shows us exactly which events have already occurred, and simply by clicking in the checkbox on a row, we can map all of our events to the correct symbols. So we'll end up with a diagram where all the symbols have been mapped to an event, 
and then we can go ahead and save. And this is where it gets really fun. We can actually then use this order flow in a report builder, which allows us to create reports with different visualizations, like heat maps, as we've got here, or charts and tables, and you know, for different durations and different frequencies. Finally, we can arrange these created reports on beautiful dashboards that give us a really solid overview of the end-to-end -end flow. We can even set up alerts for certain key performance indicators. So, as you've seen, the process monitoring solution solves all business problems regarding visibility and it helps us with process improvement at the same time. And hopefully you've seen that this was actually really simple to set up the reports and the dashboards for the KPIs that we were interested in. It solves our end-to-end -end visibility issues. And along the lines, process monitoring also brings us this business-friendly interface. It brings us cloud native availability and native workflow engine integration. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this demonstration and you're now eager to test it for yourself. And if this has caught your interest, simply fill in the form on the landing page of the Process Monitoring website and join our beta programme. It's that simple and we really look forward to welcoming you.